Hi, I'm Tom from the Burp Scanner development team. Today, I'm going to talk a little bit about the difference between crawled locations and audited items. And this is because a question we get asked quite frequently is, well, what's the difference? Specifically, if I hop into Burp here, where I've got a finished crawl and audit of uh, Portswigger's vulnerable web application gin and juice shop, we can see that we've got 47 locations crawled. But if I hop over to the audit items view, we can see that there's 59. So why is this? What, what's the difference? Well, what it comes down to is the fact that when the crawl is running, we are crawling the web application like a user, and we treat distinct web pages as locations. Whereas when the audit is running, we are auditing HTTP messages. So there's a bit of a difference between a HTTP message and a web page, which I'll go over now. To do this, I'm going to use the new crawl paths view, which came out in 2023.5. My view here might differ a little bit from your view if you open up Burp now, that's because I'm running an internal build and we're actually constantly, like the guys behind me somewhere there, are um, constantly working on this um, right now. So if you see any differences, just treat them as um, sneak previews and don't worry about them too much. So as I said, here I've got Gin and Juice Shop open and we can see all of the actions that the crawler has taken. So for example, we clicked on View Details here for one of the products. Um, and then we on that product page, we've got a form that we submitted for checking the stock. We've got an add to cart form. So this is where the difference between crawled locations and audited items comes in. When we submitted the form add to cart, we got to a new page in the web application. That web page had this destination URL here, but there are actually two bits of HTTP traffic required to build the page. One to fetch the product page, which actually matches the destination URL of the page. Now this would actually be the um, URL in the address bar in the, in the browser. That's what we where we get the URL from for a page. There's also the second request, which is a post request to go and... Um, oh, I've clicked on add to cart. I think I was saying check stock, but never mind. So yeah, add to cart. So we've got this request here um, to go and add the product to the cart, which is a post request. So this is where, in this case, we would have one crawled location, but two audited items for each of these requests. This can actually go the other way as well. So we've got this subscribe form on the homepage, which when you click on it has single page app behavior where some JavaScript runs, but there are no HTTP messages sent at all. So in this case, we would have a crawl location, but no audit items. So this is how over time we can build up a difference in that number because we're constantly crawling web pages as locations. So if I actually hop into Gin and Juice Shop, I can show this. Um, so this would be a location um, if we click on view details, that would be a location. Yeah, these are all distinct locations with their URLs coming from the address bar, whereas the, as I said, the requests that are issued to build these um, pages, these locations are what are sent to the audit. So hopefully that clears things up a little bit. Um, this is also why, for example, if you know of some addresses that are request, some, some addresses that are navigated to in your application, they might not appear in the audit items view because if you've got a fully single page application, you might be browsing around, the address bar might be changing, but we're actually not generating any requests, so there's nothing to audit. Or the requests that are generated might be API requests, so their URLs, their paths in this audit items view here might not match what you're expecting to see in the address bar. So as I said, we're actually still constantly working on this crawl paths view. Uh, this is based on user feedback and there's plenty of goodies we've internally got lined up to add, plenty of new features. So yeah, keep that feedback coming and stay tuned.